You can see this thing is massive. Look at how huge this house is. Oh my god. <laughs> everybody, I am Kindly Key, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Now, the last time we played, we were messing around with the console commands, Ghost in particular, which allowed us to get access to the basement that is, uh, that's not quite complete, but it was still really cool to check out that area that we wouldn't typically have access to. However, I found another console command that I think is even cooler and gives us access to something that, I mean, it's, it's kind of amazing. So, check this out, you guys. Pull up the console. We'll type in the command open neighbor 3. You can see I've already entered that. And let's see what happens. Check this out, you guys. How awesome is this? Now, based on the command, it says it's neighbor 3, so we can safely assume that this house is actually the the rough design for the Alpha 3 house, which is supposed to be the final house for the final game. And you can see this thing is massive! Look at how huge this house is! Oh my god! Now, based on some of the concept art that they showed for the Alpha 3 house, uh, we can expect that this house is actually going to be even bigger. It's probably going to be a lot taller uh, with just crazy mechanisms going on. But you can see, like, this thing is just enormous. And you can see our neighbor friend, he's, he's just hanging out in his weird giant house. This thing is like 10 times larger than any of the houses we've seen in the game so far. And obviously, it's very, very rough around the edges. There's a lot that still needs to be done here, but this is still super cool. So I thought we'd, uh, we'd just kind of look around and see if we can find any cool clues or crazy looking things. Can we pick up this? Yeah. Flashlight might help because uh, it gets kind of dark. The lighting in here isn't great. All right, that's weird. There's a, there's a chair clipping through the ground. We can see some some ottomans just kind of sticking through the floor and here is what is presumably the entrance to the basement although you can see it's probably had better days it's not exactly perfect this is really interesting this doorway here it's just it's so much bigger than anything else we've seen I mean we've got like these pillars I mean it's kind of crazy <laughs> Thinking about how big the final house is going to be, this is this is insane. So we've got the kitchen here, and, uh, and it looks like someone was doing dishes and left their arm in in the sink. Is this like a prosthetic arm? Is this supposed to be a prosthetic? Oh my god, that is so creepy. Or is it a mannequin? I don't know, man. But that's uh, that's. That's messed up. He is missing counters, but at least he's got these the floating toaster, so who needs counters when your appliances float? We got the hammer here, which is actually kind of interesting because in the current build of the game, there is no hammer. Um, we can't actually interact with it, though. Um, but there is no hammer in the current build. Um, the, the hammer was kind of replaced by the crowbar to remove um, the wood slats. Let's move on. Let's check out some of the other rooms. Most of them are probably going to be empty. I'd be willing to bet. What in the world is going on up here? <laughs> He's been trapped in time and space, falling out of his bed. That must be terrifying. What are you doing, buddy? We have a furnace here and a TV. Which is quite interesting. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, what's the matter? Can't get me, can ya? Okay, this room is also quite interesting. <laughs> no, he got me! <laughs> I got too cocky. Where were we? Were we over here? No, this is the front. Alright, we've got what seems to be kind of a giant bathroom. This thing is enormous. I feel like this room should have a giant toilet. We got some stairs. Interesting. Stairway leading up. What's in here? All right, looks like this is the top so far. And we've got some stairways leading up to nothing. <laughs> nothing. Just a whole bunch of garbage on the roof. Not too surprised by that. Oh, this is interesting. We've got the furnace from Alpha 1. Recall when you turn it off, it would freeze the water where the shark was on the second floor in Alpha 1. 
interesting that it's here. I wonder if they'll re-implement that shark into Alpha 3. I hope they do. I hope they, they have that shark in the final build because he's really cool. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, he's actually a robot. It's actually kind of crazy that they did that. All right, we're back in the stairway now. So let's go back downstairs and try to find some more stuff here. That is what is going on there. We have like a bookshelf that is butting up against this door, making for quite a conundrum. We've got some interesting shelving here. These look like bike racks and they're attached to the wall. <laughs> That's real interesting. We've got a lock here that we haven't actually seen in game yet. So it seems like there might be, oh, he's chasing us. Um, it seems like there might be keys that correlate to specific types of locks in Alpha 3 and possibly in the final build of the game. So that's kind of interesting. But let's check out this room. We've got a flying refrigerator. That's fun. Uh oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> he got us again. We can just head back over there. All right, here's the uh, time and space room where he's been frozen. Ah, and then here's this room. This room has the weird lock on the outside of it, right? Yeah. And then uh, we've got the flying refrigerator. Our couch. This is the couch from from that cutscene where we get attacked by the neighbor in the beginning of this version. And then we've got a ladder just kind of leading up to this empty room here, it looks like. And a crowbar, a single crowbar just hanging out. And there's the roof. Is there anything over here? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything in here. This is just the top of the stairwell. Nothing to see. There you go, guys. You get a bird's eye view of the massive Alpha 3 house. Obviously a work in progress. Not sure if they want us to see this, but they put it in the game, so they must have not really cared. I think we explored all the rooms. Let's go underneath the house and see if there's anything interesting under. Okay, there's some, there's just like weird stuff just kind of floating about underneath the house. And there's this room here. I wonder what this is. No, nope, there's nothing in here, but that could potentially be where the basement will go, or at least the stairwell leading down to the basement will be. So why don't we head back to the original game? All right, we're back. I'm gonna turn on the ghost again. I wanted to show you guys another cool little thing. Um, there's actually a model of our own character underneath the uh, the house, not the neighbor's house, but our house. So you can see what we look like. Cause up until this point, we haven't really seen what we look like. Kind of look like a creep, not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we we look kind of kind of weird, kind of creepy. I, I feel like the neighbor actually looks more normal than we do, but obviously the neighbor's got some interesting tendencies as well. But maybe we're the creep. You know, why are we, why do we have to go into his house? Why do we have to, look, you know, snoop around? But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I think in the next one, we're going to check out more of the neighborhood, explore some of these houses around the neighborhood, see if we can find any more secrets, some cool stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can always subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.